So hello everybody, thank you very much. <laughs> Hi. Uh, we are going to talk uh, today about the virtual mode framework. Sorry, it is a presentation for developers to understand how the framework, the, the virtual mode framework, how we wrote a virtual, how we wrote a virtual mode framework. It's not a presentation about the functionalities of uh, virtual mode. So we are going to talk about uh, the generic, the virtual mode generic MVC classes. How did we implement our, multi, uh, our multilingual solution? Some tips about templating and how you can extend virtual mode functionalities uh, easily. So first we have um, a new class VM table, which is extending the G table, the Joomla G table, uh, which is completely full compatible. All inside this uh, VM table class, we have all the functions to set primary keys, loggable keys, um, lockable or durable, and how to add, to set, to specify which uh, field is the slug field, which needs to be uh, a unique field. And we have a function store, which saves automatically all the fields uh, set in the construct. I'm giving you an example just after. Here is a, an example of, of a VM table. I just took some, an extract of the VM table, where we set up all the variables of the product. And here in the construct, the function construct, we set up which key is the primary key, which key are, uh, should be set when you are saving the product, which key is, are the, if the, uh, this table is a, pro, is a table which is loggable, and which key are the translatable keys. That's what we are going to explain just after. And we set up some shortcut to have some uh, unique shortcut for the tables uh, when we do queries, not to mix the different uh, tables. So our multilingual solution, uh, how did we implement uh, multilingual in a virtual mat? Uh, it is completely different than the solution which is done in, uh, in Joomla. Th because the problem that we had, that we have, is that we have one product we have some field that needs to be translated, like the product name needs to be different in different language, but uh, the product stock does not need to be translated. This one should be unique. So we have divided each table in two, uh, each table in several tables. One which is the main table, which is the table that uh, contains all the fields that do not need to be uh, translated. And then after we have all the fields that should be translated in a table which has exactly the name and the, the name the same name as the language table, but just adding the language tag at the end, which is here, this one. And we have as many language table as we have uh, language set up in the virtual mat configuration that we have uh, configured. So just underneath, we have an example which uh, says, so this virtual mode products will contain all the fields that are not translatable. And then we have the two other um, language table just after. So that's the, how we create, how we have designed the tables. And we have after uh, in the construct, just like uh, I show in the example just before, we set up in the, via the function set translatable all the fields that are translatable. So typically here we have for the product uh, uh, table, we will have, we will call the function set translatable, adding the different fields, so product name, short description, the description, the meta description, the meta keys and the custom title. Um, I can show just an example very fast to show how it works then after on, uh, on a virtual website. 
Can you see everything here? Let me do this. So the translation now is done directly in the product. So my website is the default language French. And here we have the language selector, which here in my case, I have uh, seven uh, different languages. Then we say, okay, I want to see the product in uh, Danish, for example the flag corresponding to the language appears in front of the field that should be translated and everywhere where you don't have the flag that means that you don't need to translate that value. So you have here, you have here also in the product description the different uh, fields that need to be translated. But if you look in the product status, for example, you, ha you don't need to translate the, the stock, the stock notification and uh, things like that. So we have also another, uh, in, in our API, we have VM model, which extends the G model, which is the G model from uh, Joomla. Um, in our case, we have defined our, all the mod models in the uh, back end. We have no folder called model in the front end. And we, when we have special requests, which are uh, only uh, to be used for in the front end, then we use the dollar app east side to, to tell that is a, a function which is only to be used on the front end. The get model can be called from everywhere uh, um, in the virtual mode or whatever uh, module. We also have an abstract function, which is a VM controller extending the G controller, which is also, again, completely full compatible with Joomla. And uh, the G controller inside the VM controller, we have uh, put all the generic function to have only once the code uh, uh, written and that you don't need to repeat the code inside each uh, controller. So everything which is always the same, like the cancel, remove, delete, publish, and toggle are inside the VM, con uh, are inside the VM controller. So you don't need to uh, rewrite those functions. We also have added a VM filter, which is another abstract function, which provides uh, some functionalities to filter strings, like checking emails, checking uh, URL in uh, live, checking editor uh, content that, for example, you can use in uh, shopper fields. Uh, if, you have, uh, if you are asking for uh, the website of somebody, he will check that the syntax is correct, the web syn uh, site name is uh, syntax is correct, but we'll also check if the website does exist. Templating. Uh, in the virtual man all the, it is completely done with uh, the, the temps from virtual one, virtual mat one, uh, have been completely removed. We don't have that anymore. We only use template, completely uh, Joomla compatible. And um, uh, even mails, all the PDF, we uh, produce PDF, we create PDF for invoices, mails and PDF for invoices, and all plugins, shipment, payment plugins, and all the plugins also use HTML layout. So it is very easy to, by using the, the override system, template override system of Joomla to make your own template. Uh, we also have uh, some um, function to override CSS and JavaScript. 
Uh, this is Patrick is here, which is also working on the Virtumart project. He can explain that much better because he's the one that wrote all that. But the, the so if you have, yeah, okay, go on. In English. Yeah, in English, please. <laughs> the problem is that when you have a template and, and you have a new jQuery version, then you must, before you need, uh, change the jQuery. Exactly. And I say, what is the problem? You can't um, change uh, in your template for you need the G jQuery re revision in normal way. Then I say, okay, what I can we can do is adding a, a, a subfolder, and you can put the the norm, your template um, library. And if it's not exist, then it simply reuse the, the virtual the virtual map run. It's all simple, but you can uh, then use this function to uh, to add a, another version because you need it. It was it is not possible in Joomla to do that. You have a moot tool from Joomla, or if you load two, you have a problem because you will load it two times the same. And this is a way with to resolve some, some conflict with jQuery in, uh, in the format. I try to add it to Joomla, but for the moment it's on only uh, a specification for virtual map. Is there anyone doing templates here? Not specially? Templating? A little bit. So that, that's just a, a, a trick to, if you do templates, if you have conflict, to uh, solve your conflict. Okay, so now we have also possibilities. You have the core, you have the virtual mode core, you have the basic functionalities, but uh, always, your customer or yourself, you want, always want more. So you have different possibilities to extend the virtual mode functionalities. Some are really, if you are, uh, of course, you just need, you, you need to be a uh, programmer. You need to know how to program. But once you know how to uh, uh, create some PHP files, you can enhance the, all the functionalities. We have an admin menu entries table, which uh, contains all the left menu, which is here. The left menu we see here, which is here, which contains all the, the entries. So the first, tr the first possibility is that you create your own view, your own uh, PHP view file uh, model and controller. And inside this table, admin menu entries, you have a column called view. You add the name of the view, and then uh, your new functionality is inside Virtumat, and your client does not see the difference uh, from a, a native uh, Virtumat and this, uh, with this uh, new function. For example, here I have done this example here. I have just created something which is called, as soon as I can find it, which is not inside the virtual mask. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I put that. Uh, oh, well, here it is because I have not put it in the correct place. I have added some uh, views with the, to, to just that I call uh, my coupon. I have added an entry in that table, and now from here, I can handle different system of coupons inside Virtuament. It's completely integrated uh, in the component. You have a second option, is that when you have something which is more complex, your road, uh, your own component, for example, component making making uh, spec 
statistic. Or, for example, Patrick wrote a component which is uh, a little bit uh, easier and faster to uh, translate the, 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 the products and the categories and everything. So you have in this admin menu entries, you have a column called link. You can add index.php, options, and then the name of your new component. And here, this is the result. In this case, I have the fast translator here in the uh, Joomla menu. Okay? But I have it here also. The, the component completely integrated in the, in the Virtumat component. So you can easily directly use that component inside Virtumat since it's a component which is anyway done only for Virtumat. It is completely transparent from the, uh, for the user after. So, do you have any question uh, up to now? No, everything is perfect. Great. So, and of course, that was two solutions. But of course, we have the, the, the third solution, which is to add plugins. Plugins that can do, uh, okay, sorry, I forgot to tell that. This is the only code that you have to add uh, when you use the link uh, column inside the admin menus and uh, table. This is the code that you have to add uh, inside your component to completely integrate it inside the virtual. It is just um, the most important, the, the basic is that we want to start here admin menu, admin UE helper start admin area and admin UE helper and admin area. That is the, the code that you have to add to have it completely integrated. Uh, inside the uh, virtual component. So, and now we have also to extend the virtual uh, functionalities, you have uh, the plugins, just like in Joomla, Joomla plugins. So you have a lot of different plugins, you have calculation plugins, if you want to be able to set a price depending on uh, new calculation rules, you have coupon plugins if you want to handle uh, to use other type of coupons. Coupons based, for example, uh, when you have a new registered user or when a user bought uh, over a certain amount of uh, uh, make an order abo above a certain amount. You have uh, plugins, currency plugins. By default, we have uh, currency. Uh, we are we convert the currency to different currency using a certain system, but you w may want to use another system, so you are able to do that with the currency plugins. Custom plugins are plugins to customize a product to have different fields uh, which will um, uh, enhance the the product. You have payment plugins. If you want uh, more than PayPal, you have in your country a specific payment. You develop a payment plugin. Shipment, it's uh, like uh, USPS, UPS, uh, FedEx, and whatever. Uh, shopper, if you want to have a uh, handle, for example, your own customer ID, uh, things like that, then you can use uh, VM shopper plugins. And VM user fit plugins, plugins that, for example, if you want to add uh, in the sh when the when the user uh, register on your shop, you want to ha add a captcha, you want to add a system to check his button number, and things like that. So you can use user field plugins. So for the just as before, for the Plugins, we have also abstract function 
We have our, our own VM plugin extending the G plugin, which is the Joomla plugin. And we have uh, also inside this uh, abstract VM plugin, we have other abstract functions which are specific to our which plugin group you are making a, a plugin, you are writing a plugin. One big difference with the Joomla plugin is that. Uh, what? One big difference with the Joomla plugins is that um, Joomla plugins are, uh, are inside the table of Joomla, but they, can, they cannot be configured twice. They, have to, they only have one configuration. In our case, we can, have s we can reuse all the plugins several times. So we, um, all the, the plugin is declared in the Joomla table, but inside VirtualMod, they, um, they are also declared. They have their own tables. For example, when we have PayPal, they, you can have your, all the log information, all the PayPal answers uh, logged in uh, the, the tables. And they can all, uh, hold their own data. That means that, for example, for the configuration parameters, you can have one PayPal that you will set up for a certain shop group. You can have uh, another PayPal which you will set with different fees for uh, another country. You can use several times uh, the same plugin inside Virtuman. And the plugins are configured inside Virtuman and not inside uh, Joomla. Uh, so that's for uh, programmers. I don't know if there are programmers here. It was just to say that uh, then we have different way of, uh, we have a lot of generic function because we can use several times the same plugins. We have a lot of different generic function that help to, to test if it is the correct plugin which is called and to when you write uh, your own plugin. And we have um, two functions, which are self-call, on-self-call uh, backend, and on-self-call frontend, which are two triggers that are specific to be able to uh, call the plugin with a within the plugin. For example, when you have a CAPTCHA plugin, you want to refresh the image, then you have to call the plugin inside the plugin. So we have two specific calls to do that. And that was it. Any question? Yes? Yeah? It's not JS, it's CSS. It's, it's uh, the same. Um, uh, if you want to use it, we have uh, some um, so, some example of which which one must sit uh, on the wiki. Or it was only a, an example. And I, I I have read CSS direction when you have true language um, direction. It's another possibility to do a one uh, one f uh, one file for. Uh, left to right, and one file right to left. When you have uh, a problem by a customer, then you automatically change left to right or right to left.
um, uh, as a user when you are using virtual mode or as a yeah, you are a shop owner. No, you don't define the field. We we have defined it inside virtual mode. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you have a product which is book which you have translated in uh, French and English and you forgot to fr translate in Italian. That's right. Yeah, and uh, what happens on the front end? Yeah. Up to now, uh, what happens is that the, the product will not appear when, it I when the, the user uh, uses the, selects the Italian <coughs> language. Perhaps, perhaps we make a choice a day to have one or other one. But some shops don't want the, the non yeah. want that, that is a... Uh, That's the question that you don't know. Yeah. It's better to always uh, see all or, or only the... That I think that should... My, my own opinion is that I think it's a pain to, to translate everything. But as Patrick said, it's up to the shop owner to decide if he wants to have. But uh, maybe he does not want to translate everything. So maybe it's something that should be in the configuration, uh, virtual mode configuration, and just people check the box. Uh, I want to have all the, p I don't know. This is something uh, uh, we have to talk about. What's the best solution? Yes, Tom? Uh, it also appears in the translation with the, with the user fields. When I, when I add user defined fields uh, for products, for example, are they uh, added with, with, with additional uh, tables uh, for with, with the languages? Uh, up to now, they we have a mix of two, two different things. Because we have a mix, we have the product name, for example. OK, this is translatable. But we are also using uh, GTEx. So, s a lot of times you are able to use GTEx inside, of, uh, in, inside uh, s somewhere, inside the custom field. Mm -hmm. And then, if you have this GTEx, in, um, in, uh, oh, you can uh, put that in the override in the Joomla uh, language file. And so, the GTEx will do the translation. This. The, the, the point was to do something fast and to translate the most important. If you have uh, some uh, generic text, product name is not a generic text, for example. But if you have another generic text, then this one you can put that uh, as a com virtual underscore a key, and then you use the G text to translate. Do you want to take quelque chose? So when I add an additional field to the product, when I, when I have uh, additional product information, um, is, is this translatable? Oh, up, right now, those fields are not in a translatable table. They are in the main, they have, uh, it has its own table, and this is not translated. But the trick is just to say you can use those g yeah. yeah. Any other question? So, I don't know, do you, um, do you want to a trick? Do you want to show back Okay. So, here, so we just presented the, the way we did the virtual mode framework. And, um, yeah, okay. I, as a developer, can add another tab, for example, with additional features, information, or whatever. 
I know that I can add uh, in the menu additional uh, functionality, but can I add a tab in the product? For the moment, no, we don't have this functionality. Why a tab? No, but here, if you create new something new to the product, then you want to have it as separate on a tab. No, because actually the custom fields yeah, now are uh, in. You, you can, but on override the, 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 the normal, the normal file. No, it's not possible native. I mean, if you do it, then you end up hacking. You mean this one? If I'm here. Then you have all those tabs, and you would like to have one more time, which is specific to something. Yeah. Uh, right now, no. Yeah, that's maybe something later, but not up to now. David, can you can't you override the view uh, on the back end? On, on the back end? Uh, you can override the view on the back end if you want to. Uh, that will be a solution. That will be a solution, but. Uh, but that's one of the it's not an update. Uh, when you have an update of Joomla or whatever, your, your views in, in your override are not updated. And that's an um, ecosystem with the, I think, is the biggest, bigger problem because when yep. you have fixes in your, in your views, uh, and I've already been, then I, I have to uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, but it's, a, sure, it's, all, it's a, the, the problem with, with all components. Yeah, I know. I say it's, it's the biggest problem with, with the Joomla override system. Because with an update, the, the mm. views are not updated. Mm. And then that's, uh, I think, not so nice. But that's not a problem with us. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a Joomla cool. override system. It's not even checking that there is an override. Joomla is, not, Joomla is not a perfect world, or uh, you are not a uh, new uh, future. <laughs> it's a problem. Yeah. Well, you can always override, uh, you can always include the base file from the override uh, view and uh, the replace uh, of the HTML. It's made by the HTML. That way, when you get an update, you get the, the, new, the new HTML. Yeah, but then we're back in which mode one team. That's what I always did in Bushman 1. Putting, putting, moving, 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 start, moving, just, just put it all in the variable and then replace, replace, yeah. <laughs> regex and whatever to replace. That's how I go from performance point of view because maybe you can do calculation and then redo them again. So it's not like it's another Bushman discussion. It's another Bushman discussion. So, um, is there any particular thing you would like to talk about uh, or that I show you on VirtualMart as a demo? Is there something you would like to see? The only thing that the, um, I wanted to sh then here I have a lot of uh, payments and stuff here. Just wanted to show you that. Um, If I do PayPal, a second PayPal here, I can set up uh, For example, I can have a special PayPal for the gold level uh, with different And here I can set up my own PayPal with different uh, amount, uh, different transaction fee, or for dif say that this PayPal for uh, that the person will not pay any transaction fee will be only for shoppers from the uh, of the gold level, and for example in uh, United States.
So here, as we can see, we can have, uh, I have three, two or three different PayPal solution uh, included, uh, defined in the backend. So that's what I was talking about at, uh, at the end of the... So I have mm, finished with the presentation, so I'm glad when you ask questions, yeah. <laughs> uh, we would like to actually we are trying to uh, make some wikis we are trying to write documentation uh, I hope with the work that we did by, by, by doing this presentation maybe we get the time to explain a little bit more but for the, the coupons uh, for, then we have to go through each trigger uh, I don't, I'm, I'm a programmer, I'm a lazy. <laughs> so I hate to duplicate stuff, I hate to do twice the same job. I prefer to take time um, and uh, to, to do a nice um, commented file. Um, I mean, for example, payment system and to explain everything there and not to have to write it on the wiki because that is just boring, I hate it. Uh, of course, we can also add some uh, a PHP doc extractor generator and do that. But um, because I was trying to write uh, the calculation extension, I cannot find anything. I literally have to. No, we we on on calculation. I'm sure we don't have. A wiki on the calculation, but anyway, the wiki on the payment and shipment is completely wrong because it's the wiki from one year ago, and uh, I arrived and I did everything um, for, from from scratch again when I arrived. So, um, so wh what I can say is that um, the the experience that we have is that some programmers. So, no, not some programmers actually. Is that some people which are not programmers, which are just people, they can read uh, code, they understand what is going on, but they are not really programmers. They took um, uh, the PayPal code, they took the shipment code that is included in VirtualMart, and uh, they were able, with, without being a, a real PHP programmer, they were able to understand what was going on and what uh, and to adapt some uh, uh, plugins to their uh, own uh, um, for, for what they wanted to do. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, I know at least two of them that did that. So. Uh, but the problem is for the calculation is to finish the trigger. Tr the triggers, yeah, you have to, f to to find the triggers. You go to the if you do, v, uh, I think it's G import. Uh, I don't remember exactly the name, and VM calculation. Then you find the trigger, and then okay. Up to now, I must admit the trigger we don't have included in the core uh, in the package that we delivered. We don't have example of calculation. Only payment and shipment and custom. product custom field only. So which kind of uh, Plug calculation plugin did you want it to do? Well, custom needed to be able to uh, change the price based on attributes or custom bills. And so I was just change to, to the price according to? Give discounts based ah. on custom bills. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And anyway, I think we cannot help you really because the, the person which really writes about calculation is the Max, which is not here. So <laughs> we can help with everything else, but I think the calculation, that's not the one we're not allowed to. It's his field. So but you know Max, no? Yeah, so you can ask him. Yeah. He will give you tips, but uh, we don't know about uh, calculation. Any other questions? But you're the one that wrote the AO, AWO coupon. Yeah? Okay. So is it working? Okay. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> and you don't actually we implemented your plugin, your triggers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, if you don't have any more questions, then uh, I release you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you.